Hey friends, welcome to our midweek moment. Pastor Nicole here. So glad you clicked on. This week we continued on in our sermon series, The Miracle Is You, where we're talking about the movie Encanto and spiritual gifts. And this weekend we talked about the character Isabella in the movie who struggles with perfectionism. And we talked about how um, that's something that we can really struggle with in our lives if we're not careful. Uh, so if you struggle with perfectionism, if you ever feel like, I don't want to start that because I'm afraid I'm going to fail or I'm afraid I'm not going to do it well enough or it's not going to be good enough, I'm not going to be good enough, take a listen to that sermon. Uh, I, but one thing I wanted to clear up is, you know, you might listen to that sermon and think, okay, Pastor Nicole, you said that we should, um, you know, let go and allow the spirit to move and maybe we don't have to have it perfect, but what about doing things well, what about excellence in serving God? And you're right. There is this like fine line between our perfection and doing things at our own standard and doing things well and with excellence in order to serve God. There's a fine line there. And I think we have to like find that line and make sure that we, we don't cross over into the perfectionistic side because sometimes that perfectionistic side keeps us from doing the work to glorify God. Like we can just get stuck in a cycle of like wanting to make it better and then we never accomplish anything because <laughs> it's not good enough yet for us to put it out there. Sometimes I struggle with this with my, my sermon writing. I talked a little bit about this in the sermon this weekend, but I find that line. Um, sometimes I, I bump up against it and there's a difference between I wanna do this well to glorify God and I want to do this well so that people think I'm competent, so people think I know what I'm talking about, so that people think I'm good enough to be a pastor, good enough to be up there talking. That's that's a totally different motivation. And when I cross that line from I want to do this well for Jesus into I want to do this well for me, that's the problem that perfection can cause. And so I just want us to think about, you know, we want to do things well. We want to use our gifts well. We want to practice and rehearse and, and we want to even be excellent. But we want to do it so that God is glorified. We want to do it so that our gifts can be used to shine the light of Jesus into our dark world. Like that's the purpose. Not so that we shine our light, uh, you know, like Nicole's light. <laughs> I don't want to be shining Nicole's light into the world. I want to be shining the light of Christ into the world. And that, I think, is the difference. And I think sometimes uh, when we live in the land of uh, perfectionism, we just cross over that line. We might not even know that we've crossed over into it, that we start shining our own light rather than reflecting the light of Christ into the world. And so that's just uh, something I want us to think about this week. Where is that line and how do we make sure that we don't cross it? Now for me, a lot of times it's just making sure I'm in tune with the spirit, that I'm praying, that, that I'm keeping an open ear. And like I said, that I'm leaving some room for the Holy Spirit to move, that it doesn't have to be perfect by my standards for God to still use it, bless it, and, and, uh, and make it something more wonderful than I could ever make it myself. I want to share a scripture with you. This is actually uh, from our passage of scripture that we used uh, in the first week of the sermon series, but it's just so good and it's so applicable to this idea um, that I wanted to share it again. So this is 1 Peter 4, 11. Whoever speaks should do so as those who speak God's word. Whoever serves should do so from the strength that God furnishes. Do this so that in everything, do this so that in everything, God may be honored through Jesus Christ. To him be honor and power forever and always. Amen. I think that is so important for us to keep in mind when we're using our spiritual gifts that whatever we are doing, whatever gift we have been given, however we are using that gift, that we are doing it with the sole purpose of honoring God, of serving the church, of serving people so that others can come to know God's love. Like that's our, that's our purpose, right? To help build the kingdom of God. 
And if we focus too much on our standards and on the bar that we have set and on our own perfectionistic tendencies, well, we don't accomplish what we should accomplish. And God isn't glorified in the way that God needs to be glorified. And we really don't want to be sharing glory with God, right? <laughs> we want God to be glorified. We don't need to be glorified. We want God to be glorified. So as you go about using your spiritual gifts this week, as you think about that uh, uh, idea of perfection and, and spiritual gifts, and uh, you think about wanting to still serve and do like the best that you can, absolutely we want to do the best that we can do. But find that line. Find that line and don't cross it. And, and just make sure that in all that you do, you are honoring God. That is, that is the most important. And remember, the spirit has to have room to move and the spirit will bridge the gap between, uh, between what we offer and what is needed. Uh, God will bridge that gap. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect for God to still use it. Would you pray with me, please? Oh God, we are grateful for the gifts that you have given us. And when we have those moments that we are, are uh, tempted to just, you know, cross that line and worry more about maybe how people see us pleasing other people, uh, drag us back <laughs> across that line so that our only focus is glorifying you, pleasing you, serving you. We want to use our gifts to build the kingdom here. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Well, y'all have a great rest of your week. We hope you will join us this weekend as we uh, encounter the character Louisa, who is my favorite. I uh, hope you will come and, uh, and be a part of that this weekend, whether in person or online, and we'll see y'all soon. Have a good one.